All right, I'm back. Uh, this tree there right in front of me here, I want to cut that thing down. It's probably about 30, 35 feet high. Uh, it's got a lot of dead wood on this side over here going up. I'm going to have to watch that branch there that it doesn't catch the tree next to it uh, come down and hit me. Uh, but it's got an interesting little twist here. It's got a limb that's coming out this way here and then up and nothing above here that's fell off years ago and you I hope you can see the twist in it but this is where all the weight is on this side here and what I want to do I know I could take it and just go with the weight let it fall in the natural direction but uh, I don't have anything around here that it can hurt if it doesn't fall right there's no buildings no nothing so what I'm going to try and do is that clump of weeds right there that's where I want the tree to go hopefully <laughs> so what I plan on doing I'm going to make a cut like that on a trunk and then I'm going to hinge it like a pie possibly I'm still trying to figure that one out what I want it to do, I want the tree to uh, twist and then fall this way. I hope I'm making myself clear. So uh, it's either going to work or it's not going to work. But if it works, then I know what to do or not to do. If I get in a situation where I have a tree like this and it has to, tw and it has to go away from a piece of building or a piece of uh, fence or whatever. I have some idea on what I can and can't do. So I'm just going to set the camera up and uh, <laughs> let the follies begin. And I think where I have the camera, I think it's out of the possibility of getting hit if it falls in natural direction. Uh, so you may see a tree coming at you. Sorry about this while I set this camera up. I think I have everything in view there. And I'll find out when I record or when I play it back. All right. I hope this comes out good. Thank you for watching.
Well, that doesn't wasn't exactly right, but I did get it to twist, which uh, surprised me that that worked. <coughs> I'm out of breath here. And I see one of the problems I had was I cut my uh, my uh, falling cut too high. I think if I would have gone on an angle, I think it might have worked a little better. But uh, what I tried to do is uh, this is what I was trying to get. I'm trying to achieve that there. That way there would give me a twist as it came down. So uh, I got an idea on how to do it next time. Well, I got a big mess here that I got to clean up. As always, my videos are free. Thank you for watching. All right, I'm back. Now, this is an update on the tree I just got through cutting that had that uh, lean to it. Well, after I came up on top of the hill here, this is what I was shooting for, th these weeds here. And when I looked up here, I almost set it right on. When I was down on the bottom and I thought I missed it, I was looking at the trunk. I wasn't looking at the part, that one limb that came off to the side there. So I think I did rather well. Because it looks like it's, you know, that's probably blocking the view, but uh, it's pretty much right on where I wanted it to go. So I just wanted to do a little update on that. As always, my videos are free. Thank you for watching.